going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys this awesome app called Lonk Launcher. So with the release of iOS 16.1 coming about a week ago, we finally got the live activities feature that a lot of people have been waiting for. So basically with this app, it's going to allow us to get a dock on our lock screen and basically access all our favorite apps such as like Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and a bunch more. So this app is completely free from the App Store. So I'm going to get down below in the description so you guys can check it out. So once you do open up the application here, we're going to be focusing on the favorites tab right here. So here are all the apps I've added to uh, basically my lock screen. But if you do want to add um, an app, just click on where it says add action and then make sure you're on the feature tab and click on choose right here. And then if you want to go to Apple apps, so basically these stock apps on your iPhone, um, or if you want some of the other apps like social media apps right here, we got like WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, and a bunch of other apps as well. So I'm going to go back and add uh, one of the stock Apple apps. So I'm going to add clock. So if you want to add it, just click on the three little dots here and then tap on where it says add to favorites. And then it's going to say added to favorites. You can either go to it or just click on OK. So I'll click on OK. And if you want to go back, just swipe down and there it is right there. So if you do actually want to activate the live activities feature with this app, all you have to do is click on the upper right hand corner right here. And there is going to be a bunch of settings with this app as well. So we got the lock screen settings, dynamic islands. So um, if you want just to activate it and see how it kind of looks like, just turn on where it says live activities, which we'll do. And there it is. So if we do have or if we do go to our lock screen right here, here are all the apps we have currently added. So if we want to go into Twitter, just tap on the icon. And it's going to automatically launch it straight from our lock screen, which is awesome. And then for those that currently have uh, the 14 Pro or Pro Max, uh, the dynamic island is going to be right there. So just tap and hold on to it right here. And there are apps as well. So for example, if I want to go into YouTube, just tap on the YouTube and then it's going to launch the app right there. So it will actually launch it um, from the Lock Launcher app for the first time if you haven't launched it before. So obviously that was my first time doing it. You guys will have to do that first. So if I actually go back, go to my lock screen again and launch YouTube, it actually won't launch the Lock Launcher app. It just needs, it just needs to do it for the first time. So like I mentioned earlier, if you want to change some of the settings right here. So uh, for example, I am showing my favorite uh, six uh, favorite apps right there. If you want to increase the apps, you guys can do that or lower. it. I'm also change the icon rounded so you guys can make it lower or higher. Um, if you want um, for the example, if you do have the 14 Pro and Pro Max, you guys can change some of the dynamic island settings. So right here we have to have a clock. We can change it just to none or a default icon. Um, and then basically here are some previews of uh, it in action. So that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. I just want to show you guys this cool app. So iOS 16.1 has allowed us to do more things with this. So we finally got that live activities feature. If you do want to check out some apps that actually support it right now, I'm going to look at down below the description or you guys can just find it on my channel. But if you did enjoy this video, drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. It's basically it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.